Ralph, it's great to have you back with us tonight, buddy. And we're going to keep everyone posted on these shipping now and 12 7. Price will expire at 11 59 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. That's when our show ends, and that's when this price will go away. We hope all of you will take advantage of it. Chef Ralph, good to have you back, pal. See you later. Bye, David. Take care, buddy. All right, so as we wrap up here, we're going to move right into something brand new today and really perfect if you want to make the perfect pastry. Now, this couldn't be more simple because it comes with the little inserts, and you simply take store bought pie dough. You cut them out, brush them with a little egg wash, fill it with a little pie filling, pull the lever, and it creates the perfect pastry. This is from Betty Bossy. It's our pastry forming wonder box. And it truly is a little wonder in how it works and how it's going to make beautiful bakery worthy pastries for you and your family. Look at that, they're just perfect. Now, we have this for you in three color choices. Now, I'll have it for you in the red. I also have it in the green. And finally, I have it for you in the blue. You'll get these little inserts that will allow you to make a pinwheel, a little parcel or a purse, if you will, and finally, a little boat. $24 is your price. Three easy payments on your credit card. Marie Louise Ludwig joins us to show us all about these and tell us why they're so special. Welcome back, you baker, you. Hello, I'm so excited because as a baker, yeah, I love to get my hands dirty, but I love fast and easy. I'm gonna turn ordinary pie dough into these. So let's do it. You take your box, you've loaded up your mold, you cut out your pie dough. You take a little bit of egg wash, you go into the corners, you take a little bit of pastry jam in here, just like this. All right, so far, now watch, the lever. You pull it, you pull the lever. Look at what that made. I pinch it up just like this to hold it together, release the lever and look. I have turned ordinary pie dough into a pinwheel. Now watch this. Let's do this again. Oh, you've got your little pocket purse it's there. So How about clever, that? Mary I Louise. Pop. Now let's do the last one. You ready? Here we go. How about that? I pinch it down, I release it, and now I put it on my cookie sheet. Look at all of those that I have made. Now, Marie Aren't Louise, fabulous? 100 yes, of these are already gone. Everybody's loving this idea, and all you're going to need is some store bought pie dough. And you'll either yes. want to put that on maybe a silicone mat or some parchment paper that you're working with. Marie Louise will tell you to put, flour. Yeah, put a little flour down first, then the dough. Then you take mm -hmm. your cutter and you simply mm -hmm. go right on top of the dough. Give it a nice go press. David. <laughs> and we'll turn this over now and show you that I've okay. got. Now I'm going to paint it with a little egg, egg wash. wash, right? Yeah. Just egg wash right in the four corners, my friend. Just oh, in the four okay. corners. Got him. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. A and little bit of pastry jam in there. Pastry jam is that super thick jam. It will not ooze all over. It'll stay really nice and formed inside your pastry. Set her down, and you're going to pull that lever. And when you do, look what you've done. Pull it up. Oh, Ooh, it look together at that. on the top. Look how pretty. And you are ready to go. Beautiful. And now this is ready to go onto my cookie sheet. Now we didn't use any parchment paper here, but uh, but you recommend using parchment paper on the cookie sheet. Is that right, Marie Louise? Yeah, or a silicone mat is fine. And I also put a little bit of sanding sugar on the top of it. Pie crust works the best. It is the perfect way to start. So look, we've taken the box, we've cut out that pie dough just like David did. Now watch. Look at you doing the pinwheel. Look at I the pinwheel. I'm now coming right behind you, my friend. Here we go. Oh, look at my beautiful pinwheel. Equally lovely. Release it. And now look, you and I both have got an incredible looking pinwheel here. Anybody can use this. It is really simple, simple to do. You put a little bit of flour down because you want, you want this to stick to the top of this, but you want it to release off the mat. So it's on here. A little bit of egg wash. That's just an egg and a little bit of water. You go into the four corners just like this. Imagine how much fun this would be with the kids. Pastry jam in the middle, just like this. Just a little dollop of it. A little dollop will do you. Now watch. Pull that lever. Ta -da! Oh my gosh, look how easy. Look at yeah. that. 800 of these are now gone. Let me update you on colors if I can, Marie Louise, real quickly. 
and tell you that I have this for you in the red, and that's most popular, 1,600 left. Here's the green, 1,300 left, and finally the blue, 1,100 remaining. You can make your own pie crust, but Marie Louise will be the first to tell you, buy it pre-made yeah. at the supermarket. Yes. Yeah. What would I call that? A supermarket shortcut, right? So you take your supermarket <laughs> shortcut and you're ready to roll. You take your cutter and you turn this upside down on the pie crust like so. Pull it out. It's easy. Pull it right back up. Whoop, now you know just what? put your little pieces back up here. All right, come on to me. We got it right here. Yeah, let's, so let's take a look at Marie Louise's because so mine, I think um, my dough <laughs> broke here on the, on the corner. We're ready. Here I go. Okay, so I've loaded my muff. I've egg washed it. All you're doing is pulling the lever. You see that? When you pull the lever, all those sides come up just like this. When you release it, I always pinch it in the middle to hold it together. And then kind of pinch it if you have to, if you got a little bit too much DM. Now look. Look at that beautiful pinwheel. When that bakes up, look at your cookie sheet here. When you get done, it takes about, I don't know, a half hour, depending on how many you want to make. Look at the beautiful display of cookies that you could do with this basic pie dough. If you want to use puff pastry, yes, you can. But I just wanted to tell you about puff pastry. Your forms don't stay together as well with that. It really works best with the pie crust. And the pie crust is delicious. So I'm flouring my board. I'm moving this over just like this. Make sure flour underneath, but no flour up there on top. Okay? Okay, wait. You just missed mine. You got to come in close. Come on. I made my little purse. Look at this. Now, Marie yes. Louise will tell you when you first make it, you may need to pinch the top here. Together. I always pinch. Always. Look at that. I made a little pocketbook full of jam. How about that? <laughs> Pretty now, as can be. This is such a clever idea and so, so easy to work with. And you're using store bought pastry, which you know I call a supermarket shortcut. Now, 2,000 of these are gone. If you want red, I have 1,000 left. If you want green, 1,200 left. If you want the blue, 800 remaining. Marie Louise, show us how to change the inserts. Oh, yeah. Okay. So on the side right here, you get three inserts to make your three things. You just take off the top like this. You just pull this out. It's like putting a puzzle piece back together. And then you just match it up just like this. You pop this in, and then you take your top. This goes back on the side. And you're ready to go. It's that simple. And they all store together in a really great case. Okay. One more, one more, one more. Here we go. Look how many we have done. This is such a fun project. And you could do savories as well. You could put your savory things in here. Sausage, maybe buffalo chicken. But look what we've done. You and me, David. I am so proud of you, my friend. You have made beautiful pastries in this wonder <laughs> Well, they are a lot Where of fun, Marie Louise, and they couldn't be easier. And when you find all of the great supplies right on the aisle in your supermarket, it couldn't be better. I will tell you now that 2,200 of these are gone. And if you want the red, 800 left, green, 1100 left, and finally the blue, 600 remaining. Marie Louise, thank you.